Hello, hello! Welcome to a video that's going to test my sanity. Last year I did a video styling my uni basics and I think I did 20 outfits in that video and after that I was thinking, never again, 20 outfits takes way too long. So naturally, I'm doing 50 outfits this year. God help me. But basically I keep on being asked to do back to school outfits but I wore a uniform when I was back in school so I don't really know what's appropriate as a school outfit but I thought I would do some back to uni outfits that hopefully you could apply to school as well if you don't have a uniform. Um, I'm also going to try not to ramble about each outfit because I already realised this is going to be a long video um, so if you want more reasoning about why I've styled outfits in certain ways then just watch my weekend outfits videos because I'm sure these will crop up somewhere um, but yeah I'm literally just a list of the outfits and tell you what's in the outfit and then move on um but also i've tried to do this in a sort of order because i thought this video could get very messy otherwise so what i did was i went through my wardrobe and decided like what i style my outfits around like whether i pick the trousers first and then the top with it or the top and then the trousers and i came to the conclusion which will probably be no surprise to you that i choose the trousers first because i love a good funky pair of trousers or my jeans i have a lot of jeans i've realized but basically what i've done is I've listed out all the trousers, skirts and dresses that I'm going to be styling and then put three outfits with each so that there's some sort of order and also I've decided to cater for all seasons so there's a cold weather outfit, a warm weather outfit and a sort of medium weather outfit. So yeah I feel like that's all that needs to be said, I think I've explained it quite badly but you'll get the gist of it as we're going through. So yeah here are my 50 back to uni outfits. So starting out with the blue mum jeans, which are from Urban Outfitters, they're the BDG brand mum jeans. The first outfit is this tulip v-neck top, which is quite a feminine sort of top. I like to put feminine or tighter fitting things with mum jeans just because I feel like it balances out the bagginess of the mum jeans. Then moving on to this outfit, which gives me sort of preschool art teacher vibes. I mean, I get these vibes more when I wear my Sesame Street mum jeans, but I still get these vibes from this outfit too. But basically this top's from D pop it's got some embroidery on the front which I think is where the preschool art teacher in this comes from um, but yeah I really like it it's quite funky but also quite juvenile I want to say. Then for colder weather I've styled these jeans with this striped long sleeve top which is sort of this thermally material and then I've put this coat over the top because it's lovely and warm and cosy. So then moving on to my black mum jeans which are also the Urban Outfitters BDG brand. I've styled them with this Brandy Melville pink lace top which is so simple and delicate but I love it and it definitely balances out the grunginess of the jeans. Then I've also gone for this white v-neck top which is a very simple outfit but because I've added this bralette underneath it sort of spices it up a little bit just a little bit. And then for the colder weather outfit I've kept it really simple because I don't really like these jeans that much, I don't know why, but I definitely find that pairing simpler things with it makes me like them more. But I've gone for this light grey Brandy Melville jumper which is one of the coziest things I own, which is just great. Then moving on to my pink mum jeans which are also from Urban Outfitters. If you can't tell I like Urban Outfitters jeans. Um, but the first outfit is this green Brandy Melville tie up top and I really really love these colours together. I know that some people will probably think they don't go but I really like the sort of forest green and the dusty pink. I just, I like it. It looks cute. Then I've gone for this striped front top which has a sort of pinky tone in there and also some sunset colours which I think just really goes with the pink jeans. I mean any of my sort of white graphic tops would go with these jeans but I just especially like that this one has some pink in it to go with the colour of the jeans. And then for cold weather I've gone for this misguided striped jumper which I know a lot of people won't like of these jeans because there's a slight different pink and it sort of clashes but I still like it. I do sometimes like to clash my outfits because I think it just looks quite arty and fun and as an art student, well creative art student, I feel like that's the vibe I want to go for. So moving on to my Sesame Street mum jeans which I absolutely adore at the moment, I think they're so funky. I've gone with this Brandy Melville tie shoulder top because the red in the top goes with the red in some of the characters in the jeans and I just like the top anyway so I wanted to wear it. Then the next outfit actually features the top I'm wearing right now which I'm slightly obsessed with. It's basically just a simple v-neck top but because of the buttons going down it, it looks a little bit more fancy 
fancy and put together and I feel like with these jeans sometimes you want a more put together looking outfit to avoid the sort of preschool art teacher vibes um, and then the last outfit for these jeans is this black long sleeve top and this jumper over the top which is a really comfy and cosy outfit and I feel like it looks quite cute and I feel like with these jeans you either want to go for a put together look or just a really comfy and cute look because you either want to complement the jeans and just go for that really cosy comfy sesame street look i don't know what i'm saying or you just want to go for the opposite and make them look really put together which sort of contrasts with the theme of the jeans what am i saying i don't know moving on to my striped pull and bear jeans so i've gone for this portrait graphic t-shirt which i really love i feel like with these jeans you don't want to go for something too heavy on the top because the jeans are already quite heavily printed so this simple graphic top goes really nicely then for the next outfit, really simple, gone for this red jumper, but I really, really love the sleeves of this jumper. I don't know what it is about them, but I think the bat wing nature of them just makes them look really cozy. And then for the cold weather outfit, I've gone for this white jumper with this red denim jacket over the top. I quite like pairing red things with these trousers because there's a lot of red in the trousers and I feel like wearing red on the top just ties it all together. Moving on to my red denim culottes, which are from Bershka. I have kept the warm weather outfit really simple, so I've just paired them with this white vest, but also accessorized it to make it a little bit more fancy. Then for the next outfit, I've gone for this black top, which is actually from Boohoo Man, but I just tie it up at the front so it looks a little bit more feminine. But basically, I really like how the little bit of red writing on the front goes with the red colour of the collards, and also has a print on the back, which again, goes with the colour of the collards. And then for the last outfit, I've gone for just a really simple jumper. So it's this black jumper from Cheap Monday, I think, but it's so cosy because it's that soft, I don't know what it's called, the material, but it's just a soft, almost fluffy material. So nice and warm, nice and warm for winter. Moving on to my black denim culottes, which are actually the same as the red ones, just in black. I have gone for this striped bardo top, which I know might not be appropriate for school as apparently shoulders are quite saucy, but yeah, at uni your shoulders are no longer considered unacceptable, so I go for it. And then at the next outfit, again, probably not entirely school appropriate because a lot of chest is displayed, but basically it's this tie front top, which is also good if you might be going out after uni, because it can look slightly put together for daytime, but then for nighttime it's like I'm down to boogie. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've never said that before in my life. Anyway, moving on to the third outfit, which is definitely school appropriate. It's this vintage jumper, which is just lovely and cosy, and I don't see why a school would have a problem with you wearing this, unless they have a problem with the culottes where your ankles are showing, because you know, schools are stuck back in the olden days. Anyway, moving on to my black striped Brandy Melville trousers, which are my trousers that I go for if I have no idea what to wear and if I'm in a rush. These just seem to go with everything. So the first outfit, really simple, just gone for this gray crop top, but I feel like you can make it look a little bit more jazzy by the accessories you put with it. And then for the next outfit, I've gone for this striped front top again, because it's just such an easy top to make it look like you've put more effort in than you have. But I really like it of these trousers because I like the contrast between the horizontal stripes on the t-shirt and the vertical stripes on the trousers. I feel like that just adds a little bit of funkiness, which, you know, I'm all about. Then for the next outfit, I'm really embracing my funky side. It's one of my favorite autumn winter outfits, but basically it's this baby top, which has this sunset graphic behind it, or is it a sort of burger? I don't really know, but it looks more like a sunset than a burger. And then I've gone for this fluffy orange coat over the top because the orange in the coat sort of ties into the orange in the graphic. But yeah, I really, really love this outfit. Probably one of my most worn in winter this year and I'm sure it will be again next year or again this year as in like it was my most worn early this year and it will be my most worn later this year again probably am I making sense probably not moving on to my multicolor striped trousers which I feel look funky no matter what you style with them because they are just very funky trousers so the first outfit is this graphic top which I'm pretty sure I featured in my last week in outfits video but I really love it as an outfit and I'm definitely going to be wearing it a lot to uni then the next outfit, really simple, just a black long sleeve crop top. But again, because of the trousers, nothing really looks that simple when your trousers are that funky. Then for the last outfit, I wasn't really sure whether this would go, but then there's the sort of green color in the trousers. So I thought that would tie together with the jumper. But I've gone for this green fluffy jumper, which is the coziest, thickest jumper I own. I definitely spent way too much on it, but I love it and will wear it to death. 
So moving on to my tartan trousers, which I normally find quite hard to style, but I figured out if you just stick mainly to blacks or whites, it actually becomes quite easy to style. So for the first outfit, I've just gone for this black button down top again, because it just makes for a very simple classic outfit. The next outfit, a little bit more out there, probably not school appropriate because it's mesh. I don't know really how schools stand on mesh. It depends what you wear underneath, I guess. But yeah, I've gone for this black mesh top, which definitely won't be everyone's cup of tea, but I like it. And as a creative art student, I feel like I can get away with more of this sort of thing. Then for the last outfit, really simple, sort of reminds me of Rachel and Friends in a way. I don't really know why, maybe she wore something like it, but it's this black fluffy jumper with the trousers. And again, quite a simple and classic look. Moving on to some slightly funkier tartan trousers. I've tried to keep the outfits of this quite simple, but then the last one is rather out there. So the first outfit is just this white lettuce edge top. So very simple, quite tame. Um, but I feel like when you add some accessories, it does look a little bit more fancy, but still not two out there. Then the next outfit, again, quite simple, gone for this light pink thin turtleneck. I decided to go for a thin turtleneck because this is supposed to be the not warm, not cold weather outfit. And I feel like if I went for a thick turtleneck, that would then make it a cold weather outfit. But this one is still a sort of light jersey material, so you won't get too hot in it. But I just like how the light pink sort of complements the brighter pink of the trousers. Then the last outfit, uh, yeah, you might want to brace yourself for a minute because it's it's quite out there. I decided to go for an orange jumper because I do quite like contrasting outfits and I know this definitely won't be everyone's cup of tea because you're probably thinking I've lost it, completely lost it. Um, but there is actually some flecks of orange in the trousers so it does still sort of go. But yeah, I know it won't be for everyone, but I like it. It's funky, so you know, I like it. The next trousers are probably the closest thing I own to tracksuit bottoms because you'll never see me in tracksuit bottoms. I feel like someone's probably gonna take this video and then cut to me in like five years where I'm wearing tracksuit bottoms. But at the moment, I would never wear tracksuit bottoms. It's not my style. But these are still my sort of comfy trousers. So for the first outfit, to contrast with the comfy, I've gone up for this off the shoulder top, which is quite fancy and intricate. Then for the next outfit I've gone for this button down top again which is definitely one of my wardrobe staples at the moment. It just it's so easy to style and makes every outfit look good and classic. I feel like I've said classic every time I've talked about this top but yeah it does make it look good and classic. And then for the last outfit with these trousers I've gone for this pink jumper from Urban Outfitters which is sort of baggy but also cropped so again it doesn't look too scruffy but then I've whacked this really fluffy coat over the top which sort of does make Make it look a bit scruffy but this is a comfy outfit it's supposed to be for the colder weather so moving on to skirts now i've only picked two skirts because most of the year you will find me in jeans or trousers but i thought i would throw in some skirts outfits for those of you who like that so the first skirt i've styled is this misguided check skirt and the first outfit is quite simple but also a little bit clashy contrasty but i like it so i've gone for this black bodysuit underneath so if you are more about the simple look then you could just leave the the outfit at that but then I've decided to put this green flannel shirt over the top just to clash a bit add some funkiness then the next outfit is definitely more simple and less experimental so I've gone for this red jumper again and I really like the look of pairing a bold block color with just a simple black and white thing skirt yeah and um, yeah I think it just looks really classic and simple and just so easily done then the last outfit with this check skirt is this green turtleneck and then I've paired a coat over the top to make it look very cozy and comfy then the other skirt I've decided to style is my denim skirt because it's probably one of my most worn ones so for the first outfit I've decided to keep it really simple and just go for a strappy top but again I feel like when you go for a simple outfit you can really go to town with the accessories if you want to then for the next outfit I've gone for this block colour jumper which I keep forgetting I have but it's basically a rip off of the Unif Crayola jumper I think it's called and um, it's definitely not as good quality as that and I really want the actual Unif one but at the moment I'm just making do with this one yeah I feel like a really statement jumper just goes really nicely with some simple denim then for the last outfit I've gone for this Oakland jumper and this brown fluffy coat because again really cozy I feel like teddy coats just make any outfit look immediately cozy I've then decided to style a couple of dresses 
dresses even though as I've said I tend to stick to my jeans and trousers but I do occasionally branch out and wear my skirts and dresses. So the first one I've decided to style is this button down dungaree dress which originally I really hated because the straps were too long so I just cut them and tied them instead and now they look a lot better. So the first outfit it's sort of contrasty I do like my contrasting outfits so I've gone for this white star mesh top which is quite an I want to say like an edgy out there piece but with the dungaree dress over the top it's definitely toned down then at the next outfit really simple is this black long sleeve top but again this just allows you to go to town with accessories if you want to and then for the last outfit with this dress I've gone for my black fluffy jumper which is the coziest thing I, I love it I'm in love. And then the other dress I've decided to style is this velvet embroidered dress. So I actually think this one looks really nice on its own, but with some necklaces just to jazz it up a little bit, even though you don't really need to jazz it up because it's an embroidered dress, but I do like a good necklace. Then for the next outfit, I've just gone for a white t-shirt underneath because I like styling this dress as a sort of dungaree dress as well, even though it's not intended as that, but you know, fashion has no rules and that. Yeah. Then for the last outfit with this dress, I've gone for a white tails neck underneath because again, going for that dungaree pinafore look. But I've also decided to add a coat over it just to make it extra cozy for those colder months. And then because I wanted to style exactly 50 outfits in this video, but 50 isn't evenly divided by three, I decided just to throw in a couple of miscellaneous outfits. So the first one is just this misguided t-shirt dress, which is so easy to throw on when you're in a rush. I definitely did that a lot last year, like towards the end of last year, um, because yeah, I was waking up a little bit too late and needed to look a little bit fancy, not fancy, but wanted to look put together, but not have to put together an outfit. So yeah, that dress is just very easy for doing that. Then at the last outfit, I've gone for my cycling shorts and a big baggy jumper on top, which I know won't be everyone's cup of tea. This trend is definitely a love it or hate it trend. Although saying that, I just kind of like it. I don't love it or hate it. Um, but yeah, cycling shorts are probably one of the most comfy things I own. And sometimes at uni, I just want to be comfy. And that was the 50th outfit. I am slightly a little bit very exhausted from doing this video, but I hope it was worth it. And I hope you did get some outfit inspiration. Um, there were sort of different levels of funky in there. So I tried to keep some outfits simple, but also make some outfits a little bit more funky. But if you want to see some of my more funky outfits then I'm sure there'll be plenty more to come in my future weekend outfits videos but yeah that's all for this video I'm gonna go have a lay down finish my cup of tea yeah regain my sanity <laughs> but yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon